Welcome back, of course, on to other news now. On the national front, the CBI is looking for the Ruas and the Kaitans for their alleged role in the 2G scam. But both have been unavailable to accept the summons and are abroad. While we haven't heard from the Ruas, the Kaitans have issued a statement saying that they live abroad and have kept the CBI in the loop on their whereabouts. Well, days after several maternal deaths in the Jodhpur hospital, another shocking story from a government hospital in the same city. Rats have nibbled on a 70-year-old paralyzed man who was on ventilator support in the ICU because the hospital staff was apparently fast asleep. The man was unable to move due to paralysis when the incident took place early on Tuesday at the Mathura Das Mathur Hospital. The rats reportedly nibbled on the paralyzed man's ears, nose, lips and cheeks. The ventilator tubes were also found chopped. The authorities at the government hospital have now launched an investigation into the incident. Hospital uh, has apparently launched a probe into the incident as well. Well, one shocking story to another, the British newspaper The Guardian has released a video on its website showing a man in uniform forcing tribal girls who were naked waist up to dance for tourists in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The accompanying report says those meant to protect the tribe from unwelcome and intrusive outsiders are in fact exploiting them. I wasn't present when that video was shot, but I think if you look at the video, it's very and listen to the audio, listen to who's talking, what they're saying, it's very clear what's happening there. The video is shot by a tourist. The police, have, the police officer with them has given food to the Jarrah. In return, the Jarrah have been told that they must perform for the tourist, and so they do. You see the, the camera pans around onto, onto women, they're told to dance. They've been told they've been given food, you know, other people are coming along af afterwards, they'll give them food as well. Dance, dance for us. In fact, the Home Ministry has now sought a report from the Andaman and Nicobar Islands administration on the alleged exploitation of the Jarava tribals. In fact, uh, Home Minister P. Chidambaram uh, will also visit the islands on January 21st, in which this issue is likely to be taken up. Well, the succession battle for the top post in army is in the army is uh, hotting up. A court has sent notices against one of the top contenders, uh, Lieutenant uh, Bikram Singh, Lieutenant General Bikram Singh. I beg your pardon. In a 11-year-old encounter, the family of a man killed in the encounter alleges it was fake. Defence Ministry sources have questioned the timing of the part petition. Is it part of the succession battle? Well, Pakistan Prime Minister Yusuf Raza Gilani has sacked the Defence Secretary, Lieutenant General Khalid Naim Lodi. This on a day when the ISI issued what is being seen as a statement against the Prime Minister, saying Yusuf Raza Gilani's allegation that chiefs of army and ISI acted in unconstitutional manners has very serious ramifications. Well, on the back of fears that have been spreading across the state, especially in Kudankulam, about the nuclear power plant safety, Nuclear Power Plant Corporation of India and Atomic Power Station at Kalpakam organized a media workshop that focused on occupational health safety. <laughs> To my mind, uh, being a nuclear technologist, this is the safest nuclear power plant of the world. For example, I must explain to you that what happened in Fukushima is that they lost electricity of all kinds. Their own generation from the diesel generators as well as what comes from the grid. They also lost water sources because of the tsunami. This particular plant, for example, has been designed carefully that it will not, uh, not lose electricity and water. But at the same time, if a need arises that in a shutdown phase this reactor has to be cooled, it can be cooled simply by air. Simply by air, it will not need any power, no electricity will be required, no water will be required. So that is the design and I think this is the feature which is available in only water reactor of the world, that it can be cooled like this. 
We're going to a short break here on the bulletin when we return paying tribute to the pioneers of the 20th century art form of collage. We bring you a splash of color from the city of Chennai. Stay